players are having problems. Players are retiring. You remember when Hayange could not even go for surgery, people had to contribute. Yes. Those are the simple things that we are talking about. Those are the simple things. People going, people traveling, you already have a team going to, uh, like Malkia stars, mm -hmm. cannot get transport. Uh, 15s. What will go Changa online? Go find me. So, what are the solutions to that? Forget these things, because those things, you get a task force, uh, community, no, sorry, uh, commission of inquiries, you capacity what? building. Bullshit. <laughs> We have two leading coalitions that are going to be participating in the upcoming uh, general election, presidential election in August. Uh, and uh, on their manifestos, they're talking about sports. I, I was disappointed that sports did not come up during the debates. Uh, there's still one more debate to go. In and the they missed a lot debate. of stuff in those yeah. debates. So, so Yvonne Okwara, if you're listening, uh, and I think uh, and I think it's going to be, not James Smart, there's going to be someone else who's going to be moderating that debate. I'm forgetting who it is, but I know Yvonne Okwara is one of them. If you're listening... Yvonne Okwara. Yeah, if you're listening, please make sure that you talk about sports. But uh, let's start with the Kenya Kwanzaa Manifesto uh, on sports. Uh, and it's a good thing that I... Uh, that, that most manifestos, apart from the Tingiza Mti one, has Is something it? on sports. Yeah. Tingiza apart, <laughs> apart from Wajakoya's one page Ten Commandment manifesto yeah. of farming snakes uh, and, 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 and growing growing weed, uh, they all, the, all the other but ones have Tingiza, something on sports. They will construct stadiums with marijuana. <laughs> oh yeah, everything was going back to marijuana. So yeah, let's start with the Kenya Kwanzaa manifesto on sports. So the, and this is just a quick summary. You know, like you can go, you know, get the manifestos and see the details of what they have. Mm -hmm. So the the Kenya Kwanzaa manifesto on sports. The first thing they want to do is establish a task force to identify sustainable sources of sports funding. This is through uh, lottery taxes and tax incentives public private partnerships and review of the 2013 sports act uh, i'll be honest i've not reviewed the 2013 sports act that's something that i want to see because it seems like there's already you know like frame some law some language there's some framework yeah, language, yeah to govern book, this yeah. Mm -hmm. so yeah so they're gonna do you know like uh, a task force and it seems kenya kwanza likes ta task forces because they're, they're also gonna create a task force to investigate state capture you know, uh, I don't know how that's gonna work, <laughs> but that's a story for another Aren't day. The but they, yeah. wasn't, wasn't that yeah. a cell phone or self uh, self phone? When when and describing state capture by yes. the yeah. yes. See, yes. that's a known th that was a known goal. That was a known goal. A very yeah, that style. was a known goal. But but let's let's focus on sports. So Kenya Kwanzaa also wants to build a sports economy value chain that includes hosting international sporting events uh, and. Uh, and also building training facilities. Stadium Kwanzaa. Uh, uh, yeah. So, 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 so I'm seeing the way these manifestos are getting creative because they saw how the Jubilee manifest, Manifesto got cooked with all those stadiums that were, they were promising. So what I'm noticing here the is laptops. that there's a bit more vague language which people cannot pick up years later and show you that this is what you promised. So here they're just talking about building a sports economy value chain that includes hosting international sporting events and training facilities. Bland. So that sounds like a CV. Private, well, privatize those stadiums so so yeah so that's that's what uh i, I mean i think we're gonna wait for the details but that's what the manifesto is saying act, um and they then they also are. they also want to I'm get sure. into you know like kenya kwanza also wants to get into the manufacture of sports apparel and equipment and, and i came to learn from their manifesto that Kenya is a leading dartboard manufacturer. I did not even know that. Um, I, I don't know if it's true. I mean, it's in a Kenya manifesto. Shot. Yeah, so Alex Kavisi, you require <laughs> forty-five. Yeah. Forty-five. Yeah, for those for those who remember KBL Festival of Darts. My boy Jemo probably was there, pioneer. But it's yes. So so they want to get into the manufacture of sports apparel and equipment. I know there's already Ender that's manufacturing. By the shoes, shoes in Kenya, shoes, yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yes. it's very hard to get that shoe. You know, like uh, a lot of them are yeah, on back order, so it's, it's, it's on high demand. A year or more, yeah, yes, it's a running shoe. Yes, uh, so so again, you know, like uh, I'd, I'd also like more detail uh, on how they plan to do this, and then they also plan to establish and adequately resource a function within tourism promotions to attract international sporting events. Um, 
I don't know. <sighs> you know, like I I don't know. I, and, and I think what they want to do is like you see like visit Rwanda for example, uh, Arsenal and then remember Tanzania was advertising uh uh, you know, like uh, Mount Kilimanjaro Seattle in, in Seattle, Seattle for the Seattle yes. Seahawks. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, there was that uh, corner that was yeah, called. Yeah, yeah. I was saying it has the Tanzania effect. Mm-hmm. You know, like even some of the football players, Sherman was talking about it. So Tanzania has also done a good job in using these international sports to market themselves. Right. Uno. No, I was gonna say. Yeah. Oh, no, sorry. Just finish because I, I want to comment on, yeah. on, on 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 the Kenya Kwanzaa one. So yeah, so they also want to Kenya Kwanzaa also wants to leverage international brands. To develop a domestic sports apparel manufacturing cluster, so Kizungu Mob. But I think what that means is that they want to talk to the to the Nikes and the Under Armors to to have facilities that are manufacturing uh, this uh, sports apparel in Kenya. Mm. So I think that's really what. Why they, not just they be want. like so, and so, then manufacture so, your so own so sports apparel? So so so, so, sorry, so, so they want both. They mm-hmm. want both. Omosh. So yeah. you're saying omit China. But China makes them. Yeah. So no, so. but they but no, but they would they would be using Ken, no, they would be making Ken, they would be using Kenya as their as their base as their base. Oh, yeah. So. Omit, yeah. Omit, omit China. Ni 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 ni. Kuzina itu aja kina kina Louis Vuitton na kina na. Oh, the APZ. Kina, yeah, they. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. They're taking it to Kenya na they're not cheaper in Kenya. So so that's why we would like the details. Another thing that also Kenya Kwanza wants to do is expand the national the national. Oh my goodness. The <gasps> national youth uh, Kizungu, Kizungu, Kizungu. Uh, I mean <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah yeah yeah. No no no. no, no, no. Even I had to uh, I've been, I've been waiting. I've been waiting. I've been waiting. I, I did it deliberately because <laughs> I've been waiting for that moment. What were changes? <laughs> I, I know you all have been waiting for that moment, so I wanted to give it to you. National, uh, national. That, that was delivered. I said national. Yeah, but anyway, mm. expand the National Youth Talent Academy to include all sports and devolve it to county. So, county. so apparently there's a National so Youth Talent Academy. A youth? That, I was reading that on this manifesto. Yeah. I'd like to know more about it. And uh-huh. this is the Kenya Kwanzaa manifesto for those who have not read it. Uh, and they said... Uh, they want to build capacity to identify promising sporting talent and provide necessary support to further their skills with this uh, National youth. youth Talent Academy that's mm-hmm. going to be devolved across the 47 counties. NYTA. So, okay. Yeah, NYTA. So that's something that I think uh, we need you to be able to reading about. The- and then uh, they also want to promote county leagues and inter-county sports championships. There was not details on how they want to do that. Uh, I think this would be good if they, there's there's a lot of you know like inter county sports going on intra and inter and then establish a sporting heroes benevolent fund and that's the Kenya Kwanzaa manifesto I think Uno you wanted to I get you know right there there's there's no solution that has been offered because it's just here's the thing players are having problems players are retiring you remember when Hayange could not even go for surgery people had to contribute yes. Those are the simple things that we are talking about. Those are the simple things. People going, people traveling, you already have a team going to uh, like Malkia Stars mm-hmm. cannot get transport. Fifteens. What will go Changa online? Go find me. So what are the solutions to that? Forget these things because those things, you get the task force, uh, Community, no, sorry, uh, Commission of Inquiries. Do Capacity what? building. Bullshit. Let us get proper, proper, like, okay, this is what we need to do. This is where the fault is. This is where the problem is. To solve this, this is what we are going to do. We don't care about people traveling or whatever, but first you have to fix the broken system so that when people come in, people will gladly come in, if it's tourism, to want to come and play in our stadia. Okay. One minute each, uh, Ruth and then Omosh, about this Kenya Kwanzaa uh, manifesto and what they want to do. It's very shallow. Uh, Ruth, Sorry, and, 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 and I think Mika's call was dropped. He's trying to get back in. He's, he's back. He's back. Okay. All right. Um, again, um, from where I stand, and, and, uh, um, and it's good to be honest, I'm, I don't want to say, like, oh, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to be looking at what they will do. I think that it comes down to that. And probably I do need to read the manifesto glad that you this is the most i've had about a kenyan government talking about sports through this manifesto um i think for me it's more like i want to see whether um not not the i want to see i want to feel the effect of them doing something okay, then the then i will know they actually are serious about it because i can read and be aware of it but then 
I'll just get be more frustrated about them not doing anything about what they say. Okay. Yeah. Omosh fire one minute on the KK manifesto. We're running out of time. Um, it sounds good. Uh, we need to see what it actually pans out to be. Um, is it gonna be like the laptops? Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, so I wanna I wanna get onto the Azimio manifesto as oh, we're wrapping up. Yeah. Sorry. Good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So now I want to get onto the Azimio manifesto as we're wrapping up. The one thing I'll say about the Kenya Kwanzaa manifesto, you know, like they're very good at developing language of things that people wanna hear. Now the question is, uh, are they really gonna uh, implement this? And and this is very creative language that will not. Uh, I, I, I think they've learned from the Jubilee manifesto that had that ended up being memes. You know, like throughout. Um, uh, the Jubilee, uh, you know, like administration. Right. Uh, can I say something to that though? Sure. Because I, I, just being objective about that, yes. I think both whoever is writing about their manifestos on this, it, 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 it they're gonna be creative because this is their wishful. Yeah. This is their wishful it's, it's thinking. It's an aspirational document. Exactly. Yeah. Right. So like, for me, I approach it from both of whatever they've written. It's like okay, this is what you hope to achieve. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, so so it's aspirational. They hope to achieve, but they're also careful with the jubilee one because the jubilee one was very ambitious, but it ended up being memes. So I think this time they've been more creative okay. to avoid, you know, like they know they're not gonna meet this promise mm -hmm. to be memeified. I think Mika also real quick. Mika, one minute, Kenya Kwanzaa manifesto. Then we're gonna wrap up with the Azimio manifesto on sports. Mika. Uh, unmute Mika. I think you need to uh, to He's pick there. up his hand. He's good. Okay. All right. Uh, Mika. Oh, sorry. Hold on. There he goes. Okay. The Mika, can you hear us well, now? Mika. I can hear you. Uh, okay, yeah, okay. Sawa. Sasa me bonyeza. So, <laughs> yes. so, so, so one minute, one minute on this Kenya Kwanzaa uh, manifesto. And, and the people who are listening, watching, you know, drop your comments on what you think about this manifesto and what it says about sports. Mika. Uh, honestly, I read this manifesto and I was like, how does it even help any sports person in this country? Yes, you're getting a manufacturer for sports in apparel. That's tax for the government. They will manufacture, take the apparel assistance for the same amount. Doesn't make anything. Like, uh, establish any conditions back to the promotions to attract international sporting events. How? We can attract international sporting events if we have good facilities and we have good, uh, like a good infrastructure to host those events, right? Uh, expand the national youth and academy to include those sports devolve into, into county. Okay, fine. How? How? Explain more. These are easy things to write and read on the on the on paper. Yeah. But the implementations of it, there is no way. It. I just I feel this is just a smart way of somebody trying to say that they care about sport. They knew they were going to get asked questions about sport, but in reality, not a lot will help. Will change with what they're going to put here. 